Oh my goodness, look at that. That is the coolest thing ever. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, we got some got some good sleep after uh, such a hard day of work yesterday. Uh, only about five hours, but hey, you know five hours is good enough. And uh, so yeah, we uh, are back here in Farm Simulator. Welcome back, everybody. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, basically uh, the deal here is that OG um, has uh, made a made a bit of a deal with Mama Joe. Uh, Mama Joe owns this farm that OG's currently on, and um, she she kind of took pity on us and just said, you know, you can go ahead and stay in our loft for a few days, uh, or stay in my loft for a few days. And so she's cool with that. And uh, you know, the because the problem is there, <laughs> there is really a motel in this town. Uh, so I I went back to the diner late last night, and she was just closing up, and I asked her, you know, where. Uh, where the motel was, and she said, "Well, there really isn't one, but you can you can stay in my hayloft." So that was very kind of her, and uh, maybe we can pay pay Mama Joe back uh, someday for that. Uh, but anyway, here we are. Uh, it is six o'clock in the morning, and um, we are in Mama Joe's loft, and we're ready to start the day. Uh, so what we want to do is head on over to Mama Joe's diner and get ourselves some breakfast first, and then um, see you know what contracts there are. Uh, for today's work uh, because Mama Joe has uh, in the diner um, a bulletin board where oh my goodness that's loud here Leah let's let's scroll out a little bit uh, a bulletin board that has all of the jobs that are available for us to work so we can find that at the machine shop uh, or at Mama Joe's diner so let's head on over here and get ourselves some biscuits and gravy for breakfast because I have a feeling that's gonna be a long hard day of work here so it looks like mama's already open uh, for breakfast we'll park the tractor here head on in and hey weren't you walking around here uh, yesterday no loitering please uh, <laughs> okay so let's go on into mama joe's and see what there is for jobs today okay so um on the bulletin board here at Mama Joe's, it uh, looks like we have a job for baling, and this actually is not a bad thing at all because uh, we want to get some far uh, some um, hay haying equipment, anyways. So this kind of incentivizes us to to do that, and we might actually outright buy it too, uh, because you know that's really kind of what we want uh, our main thing to be, at least for starting out here. And so uh, let's go ahead and accept this contract. Um, and we're going to see if we can actually buy the, uh, equipment that we need, uh, to get that done as opposed to leasing, because here again, it's my intention. Um, it's OG's intention, I should say, to, uh, start doing some haying on a, on a fairly regular basis. So it probably makes sense for us to just purchase that equipment outright. So let's head on down to the machine store here. We'll put our um, beacon lights on and zoom out so it's not so doggone loud. And let's head on down there and see, um, you know, what we can do here in the way of haying equipment. Now we have four hundred ten thousand dollars, and it's costing us about uh, two hundred twenty some odd dollars a day, I think, in interest. So we do have a loan that we want to pay off as soon as we can, but I don't think right now is the is the right time to do that we need to make use of that that money um for the time being until we can kind of get a little bit better foothold also i think i'm going to go ahead and and return this uh, leased equipment here as well uh, because we're gonna, we're going to get ourselves into the hay business here all right so let's go into here uh, we want to go to leased equipment and actually hold on before i do that though let's just make sure uh, there's a small cultivating job. There's a bunch of small fertilizing jobs. But yeah, I I, I think. How, wait, how did I get back in here? Um, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Must have been something I ate for breakfast at Mama Joe's. Anyway, let's go in here and we're gonna go ahead and return these. So return 
Yes. And return this. Yes. Yes. Okay. There. So we've returned those items. And now uh, let's take a closer look at... Oh, I must... I'm... You know what? I'm hitting tab and that's getting me right in the vehicle. I guess that's the teleport for the vehicle. No, 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 no. Here, let me do it again. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so tab gets you right into your vehicle. That, that's going to become useful later on. I just wasn't sure what was going on there. All right, so let's press escape and look at this. So um, we have to mow the grass in field 19, then bale the grass and wrap it to make silage bales and then take the bales to the animal dealer. All right, so, um, right, okay, field 19. Let's take a look at that first and see where field 19 is and how large it is. Uh, it's Oh, it's, it's pretty small, actually. It's quite small. Okay, so that's where we got to go to do that. So it's good to know uh, what the size of it is. So we kind of got ourselves into a little bit of a, um, well, it just took me a, <laughs> a long time last night to uh, do that field because I had such a small cultivator. All right, so let's go into the shop here and we want to look at tools. And so the first thing we want to look at is mowers. So let's go into mowers. Um, now, I think that, let's see, what we really want to pay attention to, I mean, we've got to pay attention to a lot of this stuff, but we want to pay attention to, you know, the the size of the, uh, the swath, I guess, is what you would call it. Uh, so this one has a 4-meter swath. That one has 4.4 meters. And is this one? Yeah, I think this is the one, one of the ones that sw kind of swing out to the side. That has 3.1, so it's a little bit better than the this little guy here. That has 8.3. These two together would require... Um, 180 horsepower, which we can handle in our tractor because we have 210. And the cost of both of those together would be 3450 if we just outright bought them, which is less money than the, just this guy by itself. But this does 7.3. Wow. Okay, hold on. So we got 3.1 and 8.3. So we're 11 and a half ish with that, whereas this is just 7.3 straight up, but it's a lot more money too uh, compared to these two guys. All right. Then we have this Pottinger thingy over here. Oh my goodness. Those two together are expensive. Okay. Now I don't, you, you, we can't go bat, bat shit crazy. <laughs> we got to be reasonable about the money we spent. That's three and a half meters for 15,000. I kind of like this guy here. Um, does this also swath too? Um, I don't know. I, I, it seems to me like one of these guys will actually swath too, but it doesn't tell us that here. This is the Duet 7300. All right, let's go back to... Um, I think... What does this one do? TH400. I mean, we're not going to buy this right now because it's super expensive, but I'm just, I thought one of these, you know, would swath too. And, and getting something that does two jobs at once is going to potentially save us, you know. Um, What about this guy? 13. All right. What does this mean? Yeah, it's not it's not telling us if this one swaths. I'd kind of like this one, but man, it is expensive. But we could put it to good use for for quite a long time. Um, you know, the thing is though, is if we got these two pieces, it's cheaper and we're going to have a wider area. Oh, okay, it says right here what the speed's supposed to be. Okay, I was wondering about that yesterday. Okay, that's good to know. So when we're when we're mowing, we don't want to go above 13 miles per hour. Okay, that's good to know. Um so what about this guy here? One of these guys is supposed to also swath, but it's not telling me that it does that. Oh, I bet you it's this cross flow thing. 
Maybe that's what the cross flow means. Hmm. Okay. Well, nevertheless, we're not spending that much money on this. This is, I mean, we might later on, but that's, that's really expensive. So we got this combinations thing here too. So if we go back to, all right. So this guy is going to give us four meters. Um, this would be four and three. So that's going to give us 7.4 meters. And that's going to cost us uh, 18275 And this is going to give us 8, 9, 10, 11, 12-ish meters. And it's going to cost us 34.5 as opposed to 27.5. Okay, if we do combinations, what? It's not putting anything in combination. That's good. That comes with weights. Whoops. All right. Go back here. Now do C for combination. Oh, it's telling me that this is what I should combine with that. Or if I do this. Okay, I see what's going on there. So it's telling us how to combine. I don't know. I, it seems to me like we're going to get the best bang for our buck if we go with these two mowers here. Uh, or even these two, really. We could do these two. 28, yeah, that's 10, these two are $10,000-ish less than these two. And we're still going to get 7.5-ish meters. But this guy does 7.3 meters straight up. It's just so expensive. Mm. <laughs> it's hard to hard to decide here, man. I think we need to be frugal, though. I really do. And that's going to be four meters. So uh, let's let's get these two together. I think this is what we should do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to buy this. Okay, and we're going to buy this. And by the way, I haven't seen your guys' comments from the first episode yet because I'm recording these back to back. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so that takes care of our mowing situation, and now we're at 382,500. Um, and I know that I'd probably, if I was going to continue doing contracts for a time, a period of time, it'd be better to lease these. But that's not my intention. I'm, I don't want to do contracts for too much longer, and I want to get into the hay business. So that's why we're buying this stuff uh, right now. Okay, so we got our mower situation taken care of. Now the next thing we need to do is a baler situation, and this. Although this is expensive as all get out, this particular baler here also wraps. So we're basically doing two, killing two birds with one stone. So this would cost us $78,000 to buy straight up. However, if we didn't do that, uh, and I think we want to go with round bales too over square bales. Um, I can't remember why that is, but... If we bought, say, this cheap, the cheapest round baler, so we're already into it for $48,000, okay? And then we go to wrappers and get the cheapest, you know, now we're into it for $68,000-ish, right? And so it seems to me like it makes more sense for us to just go with the baler that you know for it's another ten thousand but it does both of those things and I think in the long run this is what we're gonna want to do. Okay. So um yeah I think that's what we want to do is get this uh, this guy here. Anything beyond that's is a little too too out of our price range at this point. So this is a clause um Roland 455 RC Uniwrap. So this thing will do the bailing and the wrapping for us. So, so I think that's what we want to get. Um, we're just going to go with the standard stuff. Um, we can change foil color, which is interesting. But, yeah, I don't know. I think we'll just keep that the way it is. And uh, there we go. Okay. Let's buy it. Fantastic. Okay, now we're down to 304000 Now, we've got our mower, our baler, and our wrapper. 
the next thing we need to do is we need a wind uh, we need a windrower. Okay, so let's look at windrowers next. Um, and those are right here. Okay, so these aren't too terribly expensive. That does two and a half meters, that does three meters, that does three point four meters, the pottinger. That does 4.7 meters. And then the price really jumps up high to 8.4, but it does twice the space. And then that stuff's just way out of our range. I, I'm kind of feeling like this coon here is probably what we might want to go with. 3.4, 4.7. And then they're, uh, they're suggesting weights. You know, I was actually supposed to have a front, well, supposed to have a front weight when I did the cultivating and I, I didn't have any problem, you know, not having one of those. Probably because we have a medium tractor instead of a small one, I'm guessing. The thing is, though, is this, this does double the space, but it's also twi over twice as much money. It's still not absolutely crazy expensive, though. Uh, hmm. No, let's let's go with this one, and we can always upgrade, you know, later on. I think four point seven three. Yeah, let's let's go with this coon right here. Okay, so um, yeah, double click on that and buy. There we go. Okay, that gives us our windrower. The last thing we need is a way to haul the bales uh, to our destination, to our to the purchaser or the place that it needs to go. Um, so. What we're going to want for that, I think, is uh, bale wrappers, bale loaders. Yeah, we want bale loaders. So the cheapest way to do that is is by this little dude. And then what we could, you know, I think this picks up two at a time, if I remember right. And then that could be loaded on a trailer like this guy. And so if we bought these two together, we're looking at about 22-ish thousand um or we could buy this anderson trailer which is fifty thousand dollars and it yeah see that'll do both square and round but i think we're going with round bales i can pick up two bales see this guy can pick up 24 bales though hmm everything else be on here is probably crazy expensive right That doesn't say how many bales it can hold. Schmetterling. If we take this, this gets us down to $245,000. But I think in the long run, we're going to like this. That's for square bales. Okay. Or should we go economical and start with this and get a trailer. 19.5 for that. I kind of like this trailer better. It's it's um a couple thousand bucks more, but it's got the sides on it. And we could use it potentially for other things too. Um Well, all right, here's the thing. The the thing about buying this trailer is we could use it for other things too, whereas if we buy this, the only thing we can use it for is bales. And so I'm thinking I'm thinking that we get this. Okay, and we get this trailer here now before we do that though i i thought there were other types of trailers that we could potentially get that could work yeah see all of this stuff here that trailer can haul oh you know what though that looks like that's more of a 
Yeah, it doesn't show bales on there. There's this Welger. There's a clause there. None of that seems to show bales. I thought there was a trailer that you could get in the game that you could take the sides off of. And then you could use it for, you know, multi-purpose things. Was it these Brantner trailers, maybe? See, this still isn't showing hay down here, though. That doesn't mean you couldn't potentially use it for that, but... All right, let's look at something here. If we go to... Yeah, so you know, that, that stays... Yeah, those sides don't come off. What about this Welger trailer? Cover. Conf okay, okay, configuration. Oh, see, look at that. Okay, so... So now we could get it as a bale trailer or a standard trailer to haul, like, grain and stuff later. Yeah, I think we should do this because it's just going to give us... It's going to be more versatile. It doesn't look very big, though. <laughs> um... But yeah, we can we could reconfigure it. Okay, hold on. Before we before we make any decisions. See, now that can be turned into a bale trailer too, but it's even smaller. Alright. Can all of these be turned into bale trailers? What if we go back to this guy? Now that doesn't give us a configuration option. What about this? Neither does that. Okay, so those can't be configured. This can. All right, that's that's fairly good size, but man, this thing is 40 grand though. Yowzers. All right, if we go back to bale loaders. Oh, see, that, that guy can haul a lot more, can't it? I mean, it's just, you can put extensions on it. Oh, that's cool. And it's it's half the price of that other one we just looked at. What about this one here? Okay. So this can... um. Doesn't look like this can be just a straight up flatbed. I don't know. I, I think this is what we need to do. Let's just buy this for now. Uh, we're taking too long trying to figure this out. All right. I think we have everything, guys, that we need um, to, to, hey, let's just double check. All right. So we've got our mowers. We've got our baler slash wrapper. We got our windrower. We got our thingamadoodle to pick stuff up. And we got the trailer that we can haul the bales on. And that's a pretty good sized trailer, too. It's a nice looking trailer. Okay. So now I guess the thing that we got to do is we got to haul all this crap out to that field. Uh, let's take a look and see again where we're at. Looks like it wants to save. Uh, so we, we have just this little tiny field here man that's not a very big field i guess it's not super far away we're just going to go up this road here what is that that's a red marble bowling restaurant oh it's another restaurant nice okay okay well i guess uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna just take stuff up uh start hauling stuff up there uh to get the work done and uh we'll go from there uh, so let's hop into our tractor well obviously we want to take the mower up there first Um, all right, so let's go around this way. Now, the nice thing about all this is we own it, right? So that means that we get that extra bonus. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. And then just back up here to get this guy. All right, let's head on up to our spot and get some mowing done. So we're basically just going to hit this road and go up north. And then we'll just have to cut across here to go up that direction. Can I get there from a, a via a back road? Yeah, we could go across the creek and go up this way, but we'd be going a little bit cross country. But you know what? That's probably not an issue. Yeah, let's go that way. I'm going to uh, turn our beacons off. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, pay attention, OG. Let's get on inside here. Oh, I'm excited, man. We're starting the hay business, people. We are going to be in the hay business. That is awesome. Well, I hope it's awesome. Okay. Let me stop for a minute and once again check. Yeah, okay, so the road's just right. Wait, is that a road? Yeah, that's a road. We don't want to drive on crops because we have crop destruction on and we don't want to ruin any of our neighbor's crops. That's just not a good thing to do. we got to be a good neighbor here. At some point, we're going to need to get our tractor washed and fixed up too. It's a bit dirty, uh, but let's uh, let's not do that quite yet. Okay, I'm going to switch to this view, and uh, can we just drive up through here? Yep, I guess we can. I'm not sure if I sh was supposed to cut across their po property like that, but <laughs> we did it. So <laughs> if they don't like it, they'll let me know. Until then, here's the bowling alley. It's a place where we might uh, come and have supper one night and spend a little downtime. I think this is the road we have to turn on. Whoa! Okay, is this our field here? Uh, yes it is. Okay, cool. Now, I think what happens is that this Uh, this rear piece, I think, swings to the right. Okay, so let's get here. Uh, so we want to switch to the front mower, which is... Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay. Uh, low, uh, unfold mower. Okay, yeah, so it swings over to the right. Good, good. Cool. And then... Um, turn it on. That's cool. Alright, and then lower it. Now we press G to select the front mower. Turn it on. You first need to unfold. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I got you. Okay. So those things have to go down. Turn on the mower. Ooh, this is loud. And lower. All right, here we go, guys. Let's cut some grass. Oh, this is cool. I love it. That is so neat. Okay, then we just kind of swing around here. Oh, how did we miss that? Um, maybe because we were swinging? All right, so lift that mower. I guess we don't have to lift the back one, just the front one. Okay, lower. There we go. Okay. All 
All right. We're cutting hay, man. We're making hay while the sun shines. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to do those turns a little bit better because it seems to be missing that. This we might be able to just keep right on around here. Now we missed a little spot there. Whoa, whoa, okay. Lift that up and back up just a touch. Alright, lift that up. Back this way. Oh, it's cutting that grass there too. Okay. There we go. All right. We're good to go. So we can cover a pretty decent uh, area with uh, with this setup. And just kind of back this way. Now, if I raise this and raise this. Oh, hold on. There we go. You know, then we can do a, a swing around thingy. I, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if we're supposed to really do that with this setup. I think we're supposed to just kind of keep going in a circle. So I'm just going to have to kind of figure out the appropriate way to do that. So lower that and lower that. Yeah, we missed a little spot there too. Well, we'll get better as time goes on. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting used to the turning on this. Yeah, see, it's hard to do that and and get the whole corner. I wonder if we should swing a little wider when we do those turns. So we kind of get it like that and then, well, cut back in. Maybe swing wide this way. No, that's not quite working either. Okay. I'm doing a terrible job on my first hay cut. <laughs> oh my goodness. What can you do? All right. Well, let's lift that up and back up. Let's see if we can hit some of this stuff that we missed here. Wow, that thing just turns on a dime, man. Okay. Let's just go this way. Don't laugh, you guys. I'm new. <laughs> I'm new at this. I'll get better. See, now, if this was my land, I'd, I'd be hitting the grass all the way to the edge, too. But I don't think that's going to really help us at all since this is a contract, you know. Okay. So let's raise this up and turn it off and then press G. Raise this up. And fold it. Okay, so it looks like it's the one that's highlighted in white as opposed to gray. Um, and I want to confirm something else. If we go back to here and then we turn this on. Okay, so blue means on. Gotcha. Okay. And white means that's the select one and gray is the stuff that's not selected. Okay, well, 
<laughs> we got the hake out. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty, you guys, but we got it done. All right, so what we're going to do is head back, and we're going to go get our windrower and then come back here and do the windrowing. Okay, so um, it looks like the first swath is already in a windrow, you know, from the front mower. So I guess we it's this stuff that we need to go over. All right, so let's see. Turn on windrower. First, you need to unfold it. Oh, unfold, right. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, neat. Okay. Turn it on. And lower it. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, so it's putting all that stuff into a nice row. So we'll go here. All right. Can we lift this while it's running? Yes, we can. Okay. So it let us uh, cut this. Oh, you don't have access to this land. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get in a little closer. Okay, turn down this way. Oh, we're overcorrecting here. Yeah, it looks like we probably should hit this other one, too. Oh, it's grabbing everything. I'm really screwing this up. <laughs> Crap. Okay, I, <laughs> I really made a mess out of this field, you guys. Oh, man, this is bad. Uh, okay, well, I, we need to hit these, we need to hit these spots that are still, you know, kind of spread out. Otherwise, our baling, I think, is going to be, the, the problem I'm having is I keep overcorrecting on the tractor, too. Um, cause I'm just, you know, still trying to get used to everything here. But we have, um, we have a spot over here that I want to hit. Honestly, it'd be a little easier to do this if the field was a little bigger cause I keep having to turn, but that's not really an excuse. It's just me, my new, my noobness here. But I want to grab this little bit along here. Okay. Yeah, that's going to make baling fun. But um, the other thing I think I want to do, too, is I want to get these two rows here kind of combined together. So let's lift this up. So, you know, when I was growing up, we had we had machines called swathers. And what the swather did is it cut the grass and also created the windrows at the same time. And I think there's actually a machine in the game, in this game, that does that too. But it's, like, way too expensive for us to be able to afford right now.
This will be a little bit better, though. All right. So, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's not not so great. Uh, you know what we're gonna do though? I'm gonna leave the windrower here, just in case I have a lot of trouble with the baler and. You know, that way we can hook back up to it and fix a couple of things. But we're going to try this. I'm not sure how big of a deal it's going to make. Um, but, yeah, let's just leave this here for now. And that way it's still here if we, you know, decide that we need it. So we're going to drop that off. And, all right, let's head back and go get our baler next. Oh, for goodness sakes. we got a long ways to go before we can call ourselves a pro. That's all i got to say. But everybody's got to start somewhere. Okay, I think that's pretty close. All right, so let's see. Lower pickup. Um, and then turn on baler. And turn on automatic drop. Okay, I guess that's on. All right, let's try this out, see what happens. So it shows in the lower right-hand corner by the speedometer how full it's getting. No, uh, uh, don't overcorrect. Okay, good. It's picking up that. Okay, this isn't too bad so far. Okay, the beep, I think, means it's about full. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is the coolest thing ever. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, are you going to stop rapping now? It's got like a little cutter thing. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Okay. Let's just keep going. Is it starting to fill? Yep, it's starting to fill up. Okay, cool. This is so fun, you guys. I love this game. Now, is it possible to... Whoops. Okay, hold on. Is it possible to back up and get this little bit here? If we run over it forward, uh, I, th I think it sort of picked it up. All right, here we go. It's already almost full again. I'm glad that we spent the money and got, you know, this two-in-one device because it just, you know, saves us that one step. And in the long run, that's going to save us money. Wait, what's it? Oh, I think they're, I think they're, <clears throat> excuse me, the wrapping animation was not working right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's um, turn the baler off and lift up the pickup. And we're going to drive around uh, this way. Oh, 
Oh, for Pete's sake. It's terrible driving. I want to try and pick up this little piece here. Yeah, I think we can get to that. Okay, so uh, lower pickup and turn on Baylor. Oh, is it not going to let us get this little piece? Okay, well, let's gra run over here and grab this at least. Okay, and then we're just going to drive all the way down to this field and then start on the next piece here. We have a little bit left on the side here too. You know what? Let's get that. My windrowing skills need work. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. Is it going to pick up this little bit here? Or is it too low to the ground? Yeah, it looked like I picked it up. Okay, cool. Let's grab this little bit here and then we'll... Yeah, we got that. Okay, cool. Now... Let's, uh, what do we need to do? Do we need to just lift the pickup up to back up? Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back up a little bit. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, I got to... Th I got to think the other direction here. Okay, now, back up. There we go. No. See, the problem for me is the tractor has such a sharp turning radius that it really messes me up. Okay, let's put the lower lower thingamadoodle down, the lift, and then get this, this part. Okay, and then we're going to just kind of swing around here. Let's lift up the lift part. So, yeah, that sharp turning radius is actually beneficial, though, too, because we really made that corner there. Okay, we're almost full. There we go. Let's see if the animation works this time. No, it seems like it's messed up. Huh, okay. Well, that's too bad, but at least we know it's working. It's just we can't see the animation. Okay, let's keep on keeping on. I hope the guy that uh, gave us this contract's not watching us. <laughs> At the end of the day, as long as we deliver him the quota of silage bales, he doesn't need to know how we got to that point. <laughs> oh, man.
The heat it didn't come close to mine. I was too much for him to handle. Well, of course he couldn't handle me, cause he's a loser. Yeah. yeah. All right. Boom. <laughs> I wasn't his kind of a woman.